Hey, what's going on? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the three simple ways that you guys can start making money online in 2020. Now, the three ways that I'm going to share with you requires zero experience. It'll be so easy. Your grandmother can do it, a teenager can do it, and you can definitely do it. This will be a great way for you guys to start making a side income or possibly trying to gain a little capital to start a passive income business which I'll share with you what I personally do to earn a passive income at the end of this video that you guys can click on the link down below but for today I'm going to be sharing you the three simple ways all right so let's get to it and before we get started be sure to subscribe to my million rise YouTube channel where I'll be putting out daily videos showing you how you can make money online in different ways that you might not have thought about and how you can become an entrepreneur and quit your job so be sure to subscribe so let's get into it. So by now you're probably wondering what these three simple ways that you can start making money online today are. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get into it, okay? So the th number three way you can start making money online is called flipping free items. Now, what do I mean by flipping free items? I mean that you can go to a website called craigslist.com where people will actually want to get rid of stuff. Whether it's uh, they're moving out or they're changing jobs and it maybe costs them more money to get rid of it than it is. So you can actually take advantage of this feature on Craigslist. So what you would do is you go to your area and you'll see this little for sale button and you just find these free items. Now don't get me wrong, it's gonna take a little time to find items you know, that people think that are trash but are actually treasures. So you would simply go through here and you would see items that you possibly could maybe clean up, make it look you know, more valuable, where maybe it's too heavy and you've got a truck or something and you're able to pick it up and deliver it for people because being able to deliver requires people, you know, it costs them more money. That's why sometimes the heavier items are actually have more value because they don't want to pay the money to deliver, they don't want to pay the money to pick it up and so on. That's where you come in because when you can get these items for free, you're in it for zero. So whenever you decide to resell it, whether you clean it up, fix it up, maybe find an item that's broke, a simple fix, because a lot of people are too lazy or don't know how to fix it, you'll be able to cash in. Um, one of my pro tips, I will say, is whenever you do get these free items, the key is whenever you go to resell it, you want to make sure you get some lighting, high you know if you got a high res camera usually an iPhone or any Android and phones these days will work great make sure you take a clean picture that makes that trash look into a treasure so you can sell it maybe for 20 40 60 100 dollars um, because a lot of people they they get lazy when they actually post these items and you know they got blurry pictures that ads like hey it's uh, let's give me it's iPhone 7 but they don't give all the details it's stupid things like that they don't allow their item to sell and what will happen is they're like, you know what, screw it. I just want to get rid of it. I want to get out of my house. Free items, okay? So if I go down to this free items, let's just see what we can find to give you a quick idea. Uh, uh, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, because you will go through a lot of trash. Don't get me wrong. Um, but this is these are free items, okay? Uh, well, here right here is a glass. Look, a glass top range. So technically, you could probably pick that up. They probably don't want to get rid of it. You got to make sure it works. They probably just want to, maybe they got a new item. Maybe they're moving. Who knows? You could actually take that, clean it up, fix it up, and probably easily sell this oven range for 50, 60 bucks. Um, doing this, you're not going to become a millionaire. But, you know, if you're on my video right now, you're probably looking for a way to make some extra cash. So my guess is you probably got more time. So more time is going to allow you to do this. Um, one of my other tips, too, um, instead of you know looking for free items whenever you're going through this is also to go to the goodwill guys everyone's local goodwill uh, you can actually buy items there for five ten fifteen dollars that they sell since they get donations and actually go on craigslist and post it on here and make a profit whether you clean it up make it look pretty make the pictures look high res give it more value you'll be able to profit as well. And another tip too is I would recommend going to Goodwills in high income living areas because a lot of these areas, people believe it or not, throw away 
or donate stuff that have a lot of value. And Goodwill, you know, the, since they get it for free, they're willing to sell it cheap. They're not willing to go through all the trouble to post it on Craigslist, to put it in an ad, so on, so on. That's where you come in to profit. So flipping free items or Goodwilling for extremely cheap discounted items is a great way to do it. Be sure to clean up the item. Be sure the item works. Be sure to list it. And as well, you guys can even charge extra because sometimes people don't have a truck. Maybe they're lazy. You can actually deliver it to them for a price. So this way you can actually make another income outside of the free item you get. So let's say the item you make 50 bucks, but you charge another 30 bucks to deliver it. That's $80 outside of your gas costs. It's money, guys. So this is a great way to uh, to make item or to make some cash using Craigslist and flipping free items. All right. So guys, number two is buying and selling phones, guys. This is a great way to uh, to make money online because phones these days, people are getting a new phone so frequently it's ridiculous. They get them every year, every two years. You see, you know, T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint. They always got these new offers. And they're getting rid of their old phone, and they don't know what to do with it. A lot of people don't know about Craigslist. They don't know about uh, OfferUp or Let Go. these places that people can actually resell their phones. And believe it or not, their two-year-old phone is almost the same technology as their new phone. It's just the crazy marketing is got in people's brains where even though their old phone is works perfectly almost has the same technology the camera is barely different they somehow have to go buy a thousand dollar iphone but their old phone they don't know what to do with it um they either sell it to the their carrier for dirt cheap i don't know if you guys ever try to trade one in they're not going to give you what you paid for it. so they don't know what to do with it they put it on these sites and you guys can actually swoop in buy it cheaper and resell it for a profit. Now, I will share with you the best ways to do this. Um, the, one of the ways, if you don't know how, you know, if you just want to have people call you or text you, people that are trying to sell their phones, you can actually make an ad on Craigslist um, that says wanted, looking to buy any type of phone. This way, people will text you, they'll call you, they'll, um, they'll send you the phone, and you decide if you want to buy it for them, and you would look in to see if you can actually make a profit. Um, another spot you guys can actually look for phones. So we'll do a good example here. Let's say I want an iPhone 7. Um, I go on a site called OfferUp. It's an app on your phone as well. It's a great app. It's an app that where you work with local people in your area. Um, so you can go pick it up, make sure the phone works, make sure every, everything works. Uh, so you'd go through here. You'd kind of do a little searchy search. <clears throat> and you would try to find... Um, a good deal on a phone now remember guys you can always negotiate the price lower because believe it or not a lot of people just want to get rid of the phone even if the phone's worth 200 bucks and let's say the ad's been sitting there for a little bit they're not willing to wait so sometimes if you're you know if you're a smooth talker you're good at negotiating bringing the price down you know talking about the good or bad about the phone sometimes you get that phone for 100 bucks and they just want the money now maybe they need to pay a bill Maybe they need something else, but you know their disadvantage can be your advantage. And if you're probably wondering how am I going to know, you know, what the phone is actually selling for outside, there's actually a great website right here. Uh, it's called MoValuate.com. Okay, you can actually see what smartphones are worth. So what were you looking for? iPhone seven. Depending on the gigs, we can actually look up. So what I would do is I would simply look up um, iPhone 7. And I'll give you guys a couple cool tips as well. Um, let's just say it's AT&T. So you'll see fair market price is $142. It uses a system. It checks out all the online sales, everything else. It's roughly selling about $142, okay? Um, on the high end, $150. On the low end, $133. So in my mind, if I want to make a decent profit, I want to try to find this iPhone 7 um, what is it, Apple? iPhone 7, 32 gigabytes for around 100 bucks. That way, worst case, I profit uh, 33 bucks. Best case, I profit what? 50 dollars. That's a that's that's 50 percent return on what you found on someone that's just willing to get rid of it. So I would go on here, and you'll see they're selling for 250, 200. Don't let that discourage you because always people are trying to get more. Um, I would, I would keep scrolling down until you find one that is in that price range for an iPhone 7, okay? So, what is it? I think I saw one here. 
So here's an iPhone 7 Plus for $100. So you can go, and you can even, guys, you can even negotiate. Even because it says $100, you'd be like, hey, you know, maybe I'll come meet you for, you know, $80 so you guys don't have to drive. So you can get it cheaper. Uh, and another little trick with um, iPhones is whenever you buy this iPhone, let's say this iPhone here only works with AT&T, okay? Well, guess what? You can actually unlock any iPhone for free, okay? A lot of people don't know this. Um, you would simply just have to call the carrier, whether it's AT&T or not, um, take you a couple minutes, and they'll, you know, legally, they have to unlock it. It's a new law that got passed. You don't have to pay for it anymore. So now what you can do is whenever you post it, you can say iPhone 7 unlocked and actually charge a premium for it because that way you get more customers. It doesn't matter if they got Sprint, AT&T, um, T-Mobile, whatever carrier. Maybe they just want to put a SIM card from Walmart. They want to do prepay. doesn't matter that it's unlocked. And then you got more cash for really doing nothing because unlocking is free and a lot of people don't know about that. As well as another tip, guys, whenever you're selling your phone or selling it on sites like OfferUp, um, LetGo, or Craigslist, you can even offer these people whenever you meet them to sell the phone to them and charge them to swap everything from their old phone to their new phone. Because guys, believe it or not, a lot of people don't know that your iPhone or Android can be on the cloud and they don't know how to switch all their photos, their pictures, their contacts to the new phone. Normally they would go to, you know, those little stores, AT&T or the Apple Genius Bar, sit there, whether they got to pay or not, depends. And this way, you can charge them maybe 20 bucks, something that takes you like five or 10 minutes. And if you don't know how to do it, go on a YouTube channel showing you how to transfer data and stuff, and you can offer this as a service, guys. So think about that. You can go from selling this for 140, 150 bucks, buying it, let's say for 100, charge someone $20 to switch all their contact information, making it 170, 70 bucks doing this, okay? So buying and selling phones is a great way, and also offering little side services is another way to up the price and earn more cash, okay? And guys, the number one thing that I'm gonna show you is one that you probably don't think about, but it's buying and selling appliances, okay? So if we go back to the to Craigslist, buying and selling appliances, all the way from refrigerators to microwaves, uh, toasters, ovens, these things are heavy, but just like phones, guys, for some reason, marketing in America, the rich people or whatever, they can have an appliance that's only two years old, but they go to the store and they see the brand new toy, they want to upgrade it. But even though their old one is perfectly fine and has high value, but they don't have the time to go resell, take the time to take the pictures, take the appliance, do all that stuff, that's where you come in again. So it works the same way because people are always upgrading their their washing machines, their refrigerators every two, three years. And you can take and find their old things, go pick it up because it's heavy. So a lot of people don't know what to do with it, believe it or not. So the weight actually works in your favor. You can even charge them or negotiate a price less to say, hey, I'm going to pick it up. Uh, you don't have to deliver it. Or whenever you sell it and they're looking to buy from you, you can offer the service saying, hey, I'll deliver it to your house. Um, you can even make more money saying, hey, uh, I can take out your old appliance and install your new appliance. Just learn how to do that, guys. It's simple, but believe it or not, a lot of people, they don't know how to do it. Um, you can look on YouTube how to do it, but they don't want to take the time, so you can actually earn more money. So on Craigslist, you can find appliances galore. Uh, people are finding. So you got this Whirlpool dishwasher. I mean, look at this. $190, this thing, they said... It probably sells for 500. I would negotiate it down 190. Um, it is going to take time. You're going to have to message a lot of people, guys. This is a hustling. Um, this is a way to gain capital. So you're going to have to hustle a little bit. Don't let that scare you because you've got time. But imagine this. Imagine the money you can make. Okay. So this guy's selling for 190 in Austin. Um, I would negotiate. Maybe try to get him down to 150. Say, hey, 150. I'll come pick it up. No worries. You could probably go back on Craigslist um, or offer up and flip it. Um, you have to see what the value is, guys. I haven't checked. This is just for example purposes, okay? So you can even see, in, uh, here's another one. Look at this beautiful piece, man. For 550 you get this down. I guarantee you this bad boy. Yeah, look at this. Oven retails for 11000 Whether I know that's true or not, I guarantee this bad boy is worth some mad money. Uh, look at this, because I just know uh, ovens. It's got two sides, whatever. This guy's willing to let it go for 550 
you probably let it go for maybe 400 negotiate you never know you clean it up you take some better pictures you offer to deliver it to the next person and let's say you sell this for eight hundred dollars okay that's a three hundred dollar profit um, it's a great way to make money because just like phones appliances are high demand um, in terms of that because people are just getting the newest thing every single year uh, but there's also people that want a good deal um, they're looking for things that are cheaper they don't want to pay the full price because sometimes let's say let's go to fridges um, dishwashers washer and dryer I mean look at this awesome washer and dryer I guarantee when they bought this this thing was like six seven hundred bucks um, they're willing to make it a hundred dollars make sure it works when you go to their house use a little common sense clean it up make it look pretty and guys even when you go and deliver it you can offer other cool services you can say you can charge them to connect it to the back you can offer to clean their ducks outside you know where all the lint comes out and you can even earn a couple fifty dollars a hundred bucks just to install it uh, because that's what all these other companies do you know before Sears went bankruptcy or Best Buy or wherever you buy your appliances they charge these kind of uh, prices so appliances buying and reselling is another great way to um, to earn some money in 2020 okay guys so I hope these three ways kind of gave you an idea different m mentality of how you can possibly make money doing a little side hustle so if you enjoyed this video guys please be sure to hit that like button I would greatly appreciate it It allows me to post more videos allows my content you know to send you guys more free content also comment down below if you guys have ever sold bought um, from the free section how your experience was any tips for buying and selling iPhones anything that I did not mention on the appliances be sure to comment and guys this is million rise until then have a fantastic year